After years of searching for a football game that could potentially rival EA, or maybe even eFootball, they literally have better generic trophies than they do on eFootball. Make it make sense. I think today I have found a console game that could be the next big thing. They even have the lineups. I don't know why they removed it on FC24, but they have done. Look at this, some beautiful shots off the stadium. Now, this is a quality game, guys. 10 out of 10. You need to have good game modes, good licensing, and really nice gameplay in order to become the best new football game. So is this actually it, guys? Do we have a new football game that can rival FIFA? Let's find out. I believe I have just found the lowest rated football game on console. Welcome to League of Champions Soccer. It is currently rated 2. It's got 17 ratings overall. And as we can see, it's got by far mostly 1 star ratings. It actually wasn't released that long ago. Um, 2023 in obviously September. So, I mean, you know, about half a year ago. Leave the new champions. European League Soccer competitions like real players. Too. I love how they end this with you'll never rock alone making it very obvious that this is a Liverpool supporter or something but uh, yeah this is uh, this looks fun maybe they have more licenses than what they even do on uh, on eFootball so you know I'm gonna go ahead and buy it I think it costs let's see how much 55 Norwegian which is like five dollars or a little bit more than five pounds let's uh, test out this game guys I have already found the positive about the game, at least it doesn't take long to download. As you can see, about um, 500 megabytes, so um, this is not gonna uh, take up your space on your console, that is for sure. But let's get into this, and uh, guys, if you want to see me test out more new football games, because there's actually been a lot of them re uh, released recently on the PlayStation Store, and they do not look that bad, smash the like on this video, and I'll start like a new series where I test out a new football game, maybe every single week. Already I am seeing better licensing than eFootball, <laughs> this is incredible. So, I mean, we've got all of the teams from the Champions League this season, we even have Arsenal here, so you know what, we'll go with Arsenal, Newcastle is here as well. Obviously no logos and stuff that is not allowed, but at least they got the colors right. So here we have the main menu. We have friendly, we have a cup, change team, play device, amateur, ambient sound and reset cup. Obviously we need an opponent and I think we're just going to be going with Real Madrid, the best in the Champions League. So uh, we will have a good challenge here today. I cannot even see what's going on. Wait a second, why is the goalkeeper being controlled by the AI? I want to be able to pass myself, guys. Big mistake from Real Madrid, and here we are, come on! No, I couldn't even sweat it. They've actually got better atmosphere than FC24, I cannot believe it. Here we are, let's go with the shot, and it is far from the goal. Something that I've noticed though, they've actually got the real player names. Is that even allowed? Now they're singing You Never Walk Alone. I think they're at the wrong game. <laughs> Come on. Can we score? Finally. Yes. We have scored. And the stadium goes silent. For some reason it says that Vinicius just scored. I don't think he plays for Arsenal, guys. Look at the dribbling. It's Messi. Where's the keeper? <laughs> He's in. <laughs> what? This is the best football game I've ever played. Vinicius has scored again. What? What is going on, boys? Why are they doing street football moves? How is this game rated only one star? Look at that through ball. It's absolutely insane. And we can round the keeper. And just like that, we make it 3-0. You'll never walk alone is being sung in the stadium. And I go with the long shots. And what a goal. That is the best goal that I've scored in this game. I don't think I'll ever score a better goal, to be honest. Something I want to test out is what happens if the game ends in a draw. Is there going to be a penalty shootout or something? Oh my god. Referee. Give him the card. Oh, he didn't even whistle for it, actually. There we go. 4-4. Four, four. What's going to happen then? Let's see. Leave match. Yeah. That's the only option. Something that's also worth to mention is that this game has trophies, which is uh, unbelievable. I mean, uh, just take a look at this. If you win 12 matches, you're gonna get yourself a gold trophy. Like, what more do you need? 
none of my friends are playing this game? What are you guys doing with your lives, man? I'm offended. I have seen enough. I am giving this game a 5-star rating. That is truly what this game deserves. Especially when I can score long shots like this. I've also got a game here called Football Cup 2022. And what's unique about this one is that it actually was made for PlayStation 5. So... This is literally a next-gen console game. Obviously, it's gonna take quite a lot for it to beat the game that we just played, but uh, let's give it a chance. They've actually got a little bit more in the menus here. They've actually got career mode and quick match, but uh, let's go into the career mode. Why not? Here we go into the shooting section, and uh, we're gonna hit this one. Oh, wow. The shooting mechanics here is a little bit weird, but um, I'm sure we'll get used to it. They even have a trophy room. I don't even think they have this on... FC24 career mode, so uh, fair enough. Let's see what we have. They literally have better generic trophies than they do on eFootball. Make it make sense. You basically have to complete 24 tasks and then you can unlock, you know, Champions Cup, Europa, tournaments, seasons. It is safe to say that this game doesn't have as good name licensing as the game we played first today. Oh, Rio de Janeiro. London as well. I mean, we'll definitely play in Brazil. They even have pre-match cutscenes. They have a more pre-match hype than FC24 does. This is crazy. They even have the lineups. I don't know why they removed it on FC24, but they have done. Look at this. Some beautiful shots off the stadium. Now, this is a quality game, guys. 10 out of 10. David Aluba. Oh, look at this. They even got skill moves. Come on, Neymar. Let's go all the way. I mean, we're not really running that fast. I, I kind of wish it went a little bit quicker. But here we go. Neymar has literally gone past everyone. Can he finish it? Neymar. We have a goal kick. And I have to say, I kind of like this camera angle. Let's give it to Verratti. Or I mean, Verratti. Boatang is just standing there. Okay. Can I take this off of you? Yes, there we go. Neymar finish it. Neymar has done it. Finally. And he does the knee slide celebration as well. He's actually been celebrating for more than two minutes now. If you leave it at this screen, they're going to be having a knee slide celebration for eternity. So, uh, yeah, I think we will end it there for now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want me to test more football games, I know that they just released some new VR football games on PlayStation 5. So, if you want me to test them out, drop a like in the video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it. That is it for now. I will see you in the next one.